crowds assembled early to catch a glimpse of the 1949 royal wedding, the confined area of North Audley Street wasn't a particularly good place in which to get a worthwhile vantage point, but the 5,000 people who crammed it were determined to see something somehow. The bride, 22-year-old Miss Marion Stein, leaves her Kensington flat for the ceremony. She wore a gown of white brocade, and her train and veil were those that the Princess Royal wore at her own wedding. When the guests began to arrive, everybody was on tiptoe and the police had a tough job on hand. The youngest bridesmaid, six-year-old Davinia Lloyd, looked happy and excited. There's film star Douglas Fairbanks, just in front of Mrs. Churchill. But main interest, of course, centred on royalty, and Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh were among the guests. The Earl of Harwood was accompanied by his younger brother, who acted as best man. The bridesmaids wore dresses of white net over white taffeta. Then the arrival of the Princess Royal, like all mothers, perhaps she was a little sad on this occasion, followed by their majesties who were accompanied by Princess Margaret. Finally, the bride herself. had to wait 45 minutes while the service was held, but their patience was rewarded by the charming picture which the Earl and Countess of Harwood made as they left St. Mark's. was crowded, especially the mall, when Queen Mary, who had not been at the church, arrived at St. James's Palace for the reception. It was easier to see here, and the crowds got a good view as the King and Queen drove in, followed by Princess Elizabeth and the Duke. Here are some of the wedding groups taken inside. The bride's father and mother on opposite sides of the picture. And the happy pair. Memorable souvenirs of a memorable occasion. White heather for the honeymoon car and the usual wedding impedimenta on the back. Then the two mothers, the Princess Royal and Mrs. Stein, as the Earl and Countess left through a shower of rose petals. The 1949 royal wedding was over and the crowds wished the couple Godspeed and long happiness. The sentiment echoed throughout the entire country. This 